guys well welcome back what welcome back um sorry about that guys i'm super excited to be on this call with you guys tonight um i just got back from from long beach i had a bunch of stuff that i wanted to share with you guys i am going to share one thing with you guys tonight and look if you if you've been i'm going to share this first and we also have julia who's going to share on our next piece of the john maxwell book guys look um we vary from one week to the next about people who are going to be on this call lisa and i text everybody and it goes from 30 people to 10 people it's it's only 45 minutes out of your week right every week we do it and I, Lisa just picked me up at the airport a little over an hour and a half ago, okay? So I want you guys to try to be a little more intentional about trying to get other people on this call too. I'm gonna share something with you guys tonight. I told Lisa this, I came back from, I came back from Long Beach and in the car we talked about Long Beach the whole way over here. And somewhere around 30 plus elite academies. I never left there the same way I left after this event. And the only thing that sucked is that she wasn't with me. And that's not happening anymore. That's the last one we will not go to together. And for those of you who missed this, there's no condemnation for you guys. But that was by far the greatest elite academy that we've ever had. The science panel, all of them were emotional and crying from a 35 year old pediatrician to Dr. Bremhall to Nancy Bryan, who just lost her husband when we were in Kansas City on a Monday and was at the event on a Thursday. Okay. Um, there's a lot of things that we can do, but I'm going to tell you my major takeaway from this event. And Lisa asked me, and I kind of shared a little bit, but I said, let's just wait till I get on the call. Okay. So my major takeaway is that it's now or never. If we don't, Fred Graves said it during the leadership meeting and he said, look, if you guys don't, if you miss this wave, you're gonna miss your opportunity in the next 12 to 14 months to be a part of the momentum of this company. We've already seen it in the last couple of weeks in the stock. And when I tell you what we learned this weekend about our products, not only, did I think we had the best products in the market? Things just went to a whole new level with this new product. And, I, and you can ask Lisa, I've said this all along with my research on NAD for the last four years. I believed that this new product would make the other two products work better and the other two products would make this. Did I not say that? And yeah. guess what the study showed at Elite Academy? That I was right. Not only was I right, but it's massively different, guys massively and just like I told people there um, it you, you can't I can tell you about it but unless you guys experienced it it's not the same right it's like I, re, I re, replay it to like Lisa and I say all the time it's like watching church on television the difference between watching it on television and being and experiencing it. it's like religion it's like knowing in your head that you believe in something, but really actually experiencing it. And it was amazing. So my, my piece that I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to play a video that's 10 minutes long. And I want you guys to, if you're somewhere where you're distracted, and then, because I don't want you to be distracted for Julia either, because I know that Julia has stepped out of her comfort zone. Now this will be the second time to share this information with you. And guys, Kendra Hall was there about telling your story and about how important telling your story is. And it wrecked my world. I, I can tell you this, and I've told Lisa this on the phone. I'm doing this with or without anybody else. I'm telling you right now that I am eliminating as many distractions as I can. I already have 14 appointments for this coming week, and I, I'm going to make it happen. And what I want you guys to do is to come along with me. I'm not going to I'm not going to persuade anybody to do anything anymore. I'm just going to I'm just going to encourage you and influence you by taking action myself. Hopefully it'll do the same thing for Lisa. 
because guys, we have a, the, one of the best presentations was Sean and Michelle Poe. They recorded videos of people on their team. They recorded videos of people on their team that, that they followed up with for years and years and months and months. Some that led to five and $600,000 legs that led to nutritionists and doctors that led to people that they, that, that, that have been able to retire themselves and their husbands. Guys, it's, it was absolutely insane. I, and, and, and you know, I've never missed an event in all these years I've been involved. This was by far the most epic event ever. And it made me realize where we are as a company. It made me realize when I've read this book by John Maxwell and I've read GoPro that we're, we're at the tipping point. We're at the tipping point. And so I'm going to share this 10 minute video and I hope that you guys will stay focused on watching and listening because this is what I have said about our products. And I want you guys to watch the significant. Now these are available. We're going to put Lisa and I are going to put some things up on the website on our team, on our team page tomorrow on both of our Ohio team page and our uh, freedom fighter team page. So you guys can have access to this stuff. Lisa recorded Friday morning's commerce, um, um, teachings, um, by Dr. Dixon guys, Dr. Dixon is by far the best chief, uh, market or chief science officer we've ever had in the company history. He's a biochemist. He's smart. He, he, he's been in network marketing in a, in a billion dollar company and he left that company to come to our company, a billion dollar company. Okay. So I want you guys to know what you have your hands on. So I'm going to, I'm going to pull this video up and then I'm going to let you guys watch it. I need to make sure I click this on so you guys can hear the sound. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Uh, and I think it's Level. You know, at, at the core, we have to get the basics. We have to get the basics right. When we look in the cell, when we look at the molecular bomb, so myself being a molecular bomb, so we want to know that we're going Michael, the sound's not working. What? Hello? The sound's not working. What do you mean the sound's not working? On on the video, you can't hear the sound. I just played it three times before I got on here. Let me double check something. Okay. Share sound on computer. Optimize full screen for video clip. Hold on a second. Now, who was that just talking, Stacy? Stacy, was that you? Yes, it was. Okay, just tell me if it's working now. Nutrition is so interesting on, on a lot of different levels. You know, at, at the core, we have to get the basics. We have to get the basics right. <laughs> When we look in the cell, when we look at the molecular biology, so myself being a molecular biologist, we want to know everything that's happening between that first signal that's coming into the cell and then that physiology that's happening. But what's been shown in aging research is that communication signal gets lost or, or muted or attenuated as we get older. So the same signals are coming in, but the signal is much more dampened as it's going through the cell. So nutrigenomics is so exciting because what has also been shown is that you can put nutrients into the system 
to basically reawaken those cellular signaling pathways. There's been many, many different theories put out there as to why we age. But what's turned out to be the case is no one theory of aging has turned out to be the thing that we need to intervene on so that we can experience healthy longevity or keep ourselves as healthy for as long as possible. So what's probably going on are all these different theories of aging that are out there are having an additive effect to those declines that we see occurring with age. And this is what's so exciting about Life Vantage. We're looking at this layered approach now to these cell signaling pathways, what's happening to them as we age, and then basically layering a nutritional approach to these different theories of aging through nutrigenomics to try to keep us as healthy for as long as possible. Researchers found early on that as we age, we basically start to accumulate free radicals and other oxidants. And if left unchecked, this can go on to have very serious consequences to the cell. So then we call that going from oxidative stress to oxidative damage, where these oxidants are actually attacking the structures inside of the cell. But what's so interesting is our bodies have been able to capture the ability of antioxidants and put that capacity inside of our DNA and specifically in our genes. The main protein that's responsible to turn on those antioxidant and detoxification enzymes is a protein called NRF2. NRF2 is an incredibly interesting protein. Normally it's just sitting quietly in the cell. But when it starts to interact with things that shouldn't be there, so whether it's a toxin, a free radical, an oxidant, it gets released from the, the cell wall. It ultimately makes its way into the nucleus and is literally flipping the switches on our DNA to turn on these protective mechanisms. It's been shown that the activity of NRF2, both its sensing and then the signaling that's going through these different communication networks, actually is declining as we get older. And this actually starts as early as our 20s. So Protandum NRF2 is so interesting because it was specifically designed with a specific number of ingredients in the right ratios that has been clinically shown to activate the NRF2 protein, whether or not there are these insults that NRF2 is experiencing. So ultimately, again, it's gonna go into the nucleus of the cell, flip these protective genes on, but it's basically bringing our cells to a heightened state of readiness when those insults do ultimately enter the cell. So again, where this nutrigenomic research is so exciting is that we can utilize extracts from plants to basically reawake NRF2 and bring it back to its full potential, again, to help, help us stay as, as healthy for as long as possible. Another major theory of aging that's out there is the mitochondrial theory of aging. And depending on who you talk to, a lot of people will say there's a lot of overlap between the free radical oxidative stress theory of aging and the mitochondrial theory of aging. And the reason is as we get older, our mitochondria basically start to break down. And if you're not familiar with what the mitochondria are, that is where the vast majority of our energy production is happening. So you can think of the mitochondria as being the cell's powerhouse. And so when they stop working, we stop working. So as researchers went in and looked at what's happening in the mitochondria with age, they find that they're not producing as much energy. They become far less efficient. Um, they also become oxidized from these other free radicals that they're one making and two that they're exposed to. So just the overall mitochondrial health and literally every aspect is declining as we get older. So Protandum and RF1 Synergizer was specifically formulated to target mitochondrial health. So we know that the protein itself, NRF1, is responsible for mitochondrial turnover. So as the mitochondria are starting to decay, we want to remove the bad ones from the cell and replace it with new ones. So NRF1 has been shown to, one, remove 
damaged or bad mitochondria, but then also is responsible for the biogenesis, right, the making of new mitochondria within the cell. And so Protandum NRF1 Synergizer was specifically formulated to one, target the NRF1 protein, and then two, deliver nutrients that have been shown to promote overall mitochondrial health. A theory of aging that's really caught our attention lately is this sirtuin theory of aging, and it's a really interesting theory. Um, the theory really comes out of studies that were done looking at what they call caloric restriction. So what is caloric restriction? Caloric restriction is the process whereby we significantly reduce the number of calories that we're eating every single day, and it can be as much from 40 to 60%. So you might think, well, why is that so exciting? That sounds like a miserable existence, and it definitely is, right? When you actually go in and look at the physiology of individuals who are undergoing caloric restriction, you actually see just a tremendous amount of health benefits coming as a result. Healthy longevity, a healthy vascular system, helping us maintain cholesterol levels already in the normal range, and then a lot of cognitive functions. So our mood's a little bit better, we can think a little bit clearly once we've uh, acclimated to caloric restriction. Um, you do start to get some increases in energy as well. So if we're, again, talking about inputs versus outputs or, or the physiology or the health benefits that are being experienced, these researchers wanted to go in and understand the molecular biology through these cell signaling pathways or communication networks during caloric restriction. So when they were doing that, they went in and they identified a family of proteins called the sirtuins. And so it turns out when you remove sirtuins from the cell, and there's really easy ways you can do that genetically, or you put different inhibitors into the system so you keep these sirtuins from working, what they found is that you completely lost the health benefits of caloric restriction. So thus, sirtuins are absolutely required for the health benefits of caloric restriction. As this connection was made between caloric restriction and sirtuins, scientists wanted to figure out everything that they could about these sirtuin proteins. So what does it take for these sirtuins to work? One thing that they found absolutely required for sirtuin activity is a molecule called NAD. And this was really a, a surprise because normally scientists think of NAD as just living in the mitochondria, uh, living other places in the cell, involved in various aspects of metabolism and energy production. People really got interested in that relationship between NAD and sirtuins because now you had a direct link between metabolism and then ultimately a way to activate this family of proteins that's been shown to be so important for all these health benefits. So of course, NAD becomes a very intriguing molecule. We started to ask the questions, were there ways that we could manipulate sirtuin activity through NAD without having to restrict all of those calories? So we went to work, we formulated Protandum NAD Synergizer specifically to target NAD and NAD-dependent pathways with the ultimate goal of increasing sirtuin activity. So we went, performed our research studies with our strategic partners, and what we found is that three hours, we saw a 46% increase in sirtuin activity. And then when we looked at 24 hours after giving Protandum NAD Synergizer, we saw a 100% increase in activity. So I'm incredibly excited about what LifeVantage is doing with its ProTandem family of products, how we're addressing these three different theories of aging, the free radical theory of aging, the mitochondrial theory of aging, and now the sirtuin theory of aging. It's really opening up the door of possibilities, both for future product development at LifeVantage, but I also really think it's gonna to start to change the conversation that people are having out there as it relates to healthcare. So taking a more proactive approach to our health and wellness instead of a reactionary approach. Okay. So guys, <laughs> how many people get the big picture when you see that video? I mean, guys, this, 
is way beyond what I ever thought this would be. So I'm just telling you guys, it's your time now. It's my time. And, you know, I, Lisa and I agreed that we want you guys to see the big picture like we just saw it. And look, that video is, was just a, 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 we got to see it in, the, in one of the leadership meetings. It was, it blew my mind away then. And then now we have the availability to see. Now guys, I'm, I'm gonna put this together for you. I don't wanna go into it too much, but I'm gonna ask Beth and Fred to share one a couple of takeaways from theirs from the event and if there's anybody else that's on that was there that wants to share something they can then we're going to go into julia teaching but here's what i want you guys to understand um that we nrf2 re reduce eliminates 1 million free radicals per second per hour per day adding the in the, the the three of the pro tandems together makes that 15 million per second per hour per day. You guys are gonna see some numbers that as a scientist blew me away. I thought that this, as I said before, that the three of these together would work even better. I'm gonna, you guys know we can't treat, prevent or cure or mitigate disease, right? I'm gonna share something with you right now and then I'm gonna let two people or three people share and then we'll go right into Julia. Okay, I have a new coaching client uh, that's co paid me to coach him for a year. He's a life managed distributor. He's got two pro six positions. His wife has one and he has one. He's 72 years old and had a mild stroke last week. Okay, um, I think I told Lisa his blood pressure was 198 over 100. 198 over 100. I saw him. He flew with me from, I flew from here to Denver, then Denver to uh, Long Beach, okay? And his blood pressure was still 156 over 90, which is still super high. Mm. Two, one day on NAD, one day, okay? On the, the tri-synergizer, and the next morning, when he woke up, he took his blood pressure, it was 119 over 68. Next day, 116 over 70. You guys get the picture of the stability of what this next product does to the other two and what the other two do combined. The three synergizers. Guys, we're going to get our whole family on the ultimate stack, which is the omegas, the prebiotic, and the probiotic because it gives you 200 PV. But I'm just telling you that the tri synergizer is a must for every person. So that's who your target market is. Everybody that needs those three products. So Beth, I don't know if both you and Fred are together or not, but if you guys want to unmute and, and share, I'd really appreciate it. Okay. I can, I can uh, share mine, my takeaway from this elite Academy. Um, I think I mentioned this yesterday during our lunch break, but I will add it more. Uh, okay, let me start. About storytelling, it's how you tell your story about you, how you go, how you, how, what life bandage for you. And for me, we are passionate about it because aside from residual income, leverage, we are on the health and wellness. We want our health be uh, strong because you know our health. We don't. Uh, we there's no promise tomorrow. Only we can do is preventing it. So for me, my story. I was before I was NA and I was become a med tech in assisted facility, and I witnessed those elderly that every time who came in in that facility, they never get better. It looks like for me, uh, that's their last station. Once they come de came there, that's the last. And so I said to myself, what's this medication that I give? They, ne they never get better. So that's why one of our passion. And then 
another takeaway from that elite academy is one of the elite says, be careless to everybody. Did you hear me? Okay, careless to everybody who say negative to you. Just keep going, care where you're going. And then from, um, from Miss Michelle, Sean, uh, Miss, uh, Miss Michelle, is, okay. Follow up, important is follow up. One of the story that really stunned for me from Tara Wilson. She said she's been follow up for six years by Carrie Dickey. Six years, I can't even imagine. <laughs> so follow up. And then the uh, presentation of Tara, you know, decide where you're going, become how you become, share information, plan of action, sacrifice, what you're gonna be sacrificed. Of, well, of course, turning off the TV. And for me, I admit, I can give up my Filipino shows sometimes. I need to be disciplined. Says one of those discipline, and it's time for us to do something that we really love to do. And then, um, what else? What I'm going to tell our experience today when we left California to Atlanta. My husband and I are fired up. Well, example, <laughs> to the Lyft driver, we talk. And I, I hear my husband, he's the one who start the conversation. Listen, listen what his story, what he's doing. And after that, he need to, <laughs> he, he need to uh, share what we have, but talk less. But at least you got the email address so that you can contact him and share the information we have. And think, one thing before that we ask, can you watch a video if we share it? And they promise yes. So that's what we have experienced from California to here. Awesome. We share and we talk. Yep. Awesome, it's Fred there. Uh, he's not ready. We just got home at 5.30. Okay. Hoping he would share something. Let me see if there's anybody else on here that would share. Um, is there anybody else that's on that would share? I know there's a couple people that were there that are on. If anybody wants to share, does anybody want to share? Unmute yourself. Hey, Mike, how you doing? How you doing? I'm doing Happy good. Birthday. Happy belated birthday, brother, from Lisa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that text yesterday. Yes, sir. Um, I just, one thing I would share was I was blown away when Dr. Dixon did his presentation and he was showing the increase in the enzymes while we, if you just did the NERF 2 or NERF 1 and then adding the NAD to it, just the multiple, what, one of them was like over 1,500% increase. 1,590%, yep. Just, that just blew me away. And today was day three. I've been on the NAD. I only got a couple of hours sleep last night because it was my birthday and I had to catch an early flight. And I'm not feeling jet lag whatsoever. I didn't sleep on the plane. Incredible stuff. Yeah, it's, it's the real deal. It's the real deal. Thanks for sharing, Mike. Anybody else? All right. All right, Julia. Let me get Julia's. Um, um, there you are. All right. Let me get her to show her camera with me. There she is. How I hold on, I gotta unmute you because you didn't. Yeah, I did it. Okay, there you go. Okay. All right. Take it away, my friend. Nice haircut. <laughs> Thank you. 
I needed a change. There's so many changes going on. Good for you. Yes. Yes. So, okay. First, it was great to hear all that information. And uh, also, I'm really excited. Friday, we were like, Lisa was in Florida watching the the presentation and I was here working and watching the presentation and I text Lisa, I'm so excited. <laughs> it was awesome. And, and yeah. Julia, before you start, I had like four people from Colorado come up to me while I was there and said, oh, we miss Julia. We wish yeah. Julia was here. And they just said they were so excited that they've had the privilege to get to know you and be at events with you and there. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I, I, I tried to get a hold of some of the girls that I met, so that's good. Yeah. Okay, going to the, the uh, power of five. Other part of the power of five is the leading, that leading matters. So this is the first part. And uh, one of the first... Uh, things that he speak about is that leadership is, is influence. And uh, these, I can, I can relate like, for example, you guys and me, and that leadership, you guys have influenced me to, to start in this business and to do a lot of changes in my life. And um, second, everything rises and falling on leadership. And good leaders go up and bad leaders go down. Um, I was listening also in some message regarding Steve Jobs how he started and he had very clear how what was to be a leader and the mindset and also like uh, Beth just said, the passion that we have to have as leaders, it leads, it brings the, the followers to that same passion. Um, the third point that he said is how well uh, you lead determine how well you su you succeed. There are he mentioned about leadership. Leadership could be very intimidating, and um, so we are going to take intimidation out in how um, to gain influence by intentionally adding value to people, and that is simple. Because sometimes we do complicate ourselves, and I can speak for myself that I have seen you to step in the leadership position, and I was like becoming part of life and I was like you need to become a lead, a leader, a leader, and I was like um, I don't think in in my mind I would say I don't think I can I can do that. Well. But learning what I'm learning, reading and all the stuff that I'm reading now, is like adding value to people is not hard to do it. Right. So, and like, like even he said, who doesn't want to add value to people? The one that doesn't want to do, he needs to go to counseling. <laughs> that's what practically he said. And that's so true. And, and most of us, we are Christians, and that's what we are called to do just encourage and add value. But I think more is just even more intentional, like that value. Listen, like Beth said, listen first and talk less. Um, there, uh, he, he talks about do three things well to lead yourself. And that was so funny and that is so true. That he's, he said like, it's easy to tell somebody what to do but it's hard for us to do ourselves, to lead ourselves. Very true. And uh, I think that is all mindset. And uh, when we really want something and we really believe in that, I'm almost like we need to start doing those steps to lead ourselves, to, with our mind, with our mind, we can lead ourselves, we can lead our body. What we have been used to is to let our body and our emotions to lead our mind. 
and that should be the opposite. And uh, I share with Lisa that I've been wanting to do some meditation in the morning and sometimes I just fall asleep back, whatever. So I intentionally am putting my, my, my alarm earlier in the morning. It just, I get up, I sit in my chair that I have there and I start my meditation and I start my time with, with the Lord. And it has been such a blessing and I'm not going to go in detail, details that it has happened that I have seen even healings. So it just mm -hmm. uh, uh, start to lead ourselves so we can be that example and we and there will be followers of us. So he explains about that we need to do three things well to lead yourself. And the first thing is like, live intentionally stop accepting your life and start living your life and i can raise my hand and i can say i did accept my life until a couple of months ago it was like kind of like a a boat going without direction I have done things in my life that I'm proud. I have done things in my life that I don't proud. But coming into, into conscience and starting, I was like, no, I can do more things. I can raise higher than I have already done. So it just start leading. You say, you're, uh, when we just accept our life, we just hope that everything will work out at some point that and we wait that others will initiate action and that was me that was me because i was fearful to initiate something things whatever happened in my life how i was raised completely different culture and things that happened but there is a point that we need to take responsibility of ourselves uh, leave the past behind and live today looking to the future and also how we start leading ourselves we take control we know we won't be perfect but as we do the steps we will become better um, realize that there is no perfect time yeah that was me also it, there's no perfect time to start how many times i told lisa all oh, right now i can I now I don't have the money. Right now I, I like I it, there was no perfect time until finally I said yes. And I'm so happy that I say yes. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so one of the things that he talks is about a friend that he met and he said that uh, he is an actionist. So start taking actions start doing not just listen not just like agree or whatever but just start just do it like nike said <laughs> um take on his turn your good intentions into good action uh third stop doing what is expected and start doing more than what is, is expected and i think that is a, a also a mentality set. I'm like, I was told to do this. I'm just going to do this. Hey, and, uh, repeat and, uh, Sorry, I didn't get that when I was typing the uh, Turn your good intentions into good actions. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so we need to challenge ourselves and be better than the rest. Be do more than the rest and he gives an example that the the friend does supposedly one hour um one hour goes to swim but he's not i did one hour and three minutes and that's also that i heard to add my lead that is other uh, uh, leadership he he that he says that also that he, when he's in the gym uh, he's not just doing, let's say, like 50 push-ups. He goes like to 53 or 54. He's always like, do do more, push yourself more. Uh, I know that sometimes it's hard, but 
that's the challenge that we have to do. Um, set, set the bar. Never let anyone set the bar for yourself. Um, because I think we know exactly where we need to set the bar. And he, he tell us to set the bar higher than we will do it. And when we got to that bar, set the bar higher. We got to that place and set it higher. And the, then the people will start seeing you because what actions speaks more than words. I can say whatever I can say. I can read books or, or write books, but unless I show people and they see my change and they see how I, I just like go higher and higher and higher, uh, they are going to say, oh, she has something different. She has uh, uh, something that I want. So that's, that was a, a really good thing. And the third point that he talks about is be consistent. Um, stop doing important things some days and start doing important things every day. Consistency with priorities has to go together. That's the, the best way to live your life. It's not the same just to have some days they do the important things on, um, and, uh, or have some days priorities. Just it has to be consistency with priorities. And um, one of example that he, he gave is like melting of an ice cube. Like if you put the ice cube is in 26 degrees, but if you raise to 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, it's not gonna happen, nothing. You don't gonna see nothing. But you get to 32 and it's gonna start melting. But the work that you have been doing, that raising from 26 to 27 to 28, it's not like you have not done nothing. You still have do, are doing and don't quit in the 31st. Don't quit. That's why he talks about consistency. Like I, I told Lisa and I was like, I have been inviting. I have been talking to people. I proposed to Mike. I have a person that um, he's going to give me the date this week so you can give the presentation about the products. He doesn't want the business because he has a lot of money, but he wants the product. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so um, uh, so that, that, was, that gave me, uh, gave me a, a, even more hope because I told Lisa I'm not quitting. Uh, because even though uh, I have nobody right now under me, but I know I have been working. I know I have been doing presentation. Mm -hmm. I know I have been sharing the product. And a couple of people have told me, I'm going to do it, not right now. So, and I understand because I was there at some point. Exactly. So, so and uh, there's uh, other people that just like, oh, let me see the product. So I, I need to do a follow up, but uh, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to quit because maybe when I quit that that next step yeah, of, if I could, yeah I will I will lose all the work that I did yeah and somebody maybe will come and take it off exactly let me so, share something on that point I put in on the side prime the well with being consistent and you know just continuing to go and when you were talking about raising the temperature from 26 yeah. to 27 and then 27 to 28, you don't see anything. But once you hit that 32 is when you start to see it. It's kind of like pumping the well analogy where you've got that old fashioned water pump and you just pump and pump and pump and you, you're not getting any water. But then suddenly when you pump it one more time, the water gushes forward. And so it's like that same analogy that you just shared from share, John. Share, share with the Moxman Memorial Stuff how it took him 
10 months. Just, just you know, yeah. just how it took him 10 months yes. to sign up his first distributor. And then he continued to build, and now he's a pro nine at 27 years old. Yeah. Like Clinton Boyles, he kept sharing and stuff, but took 10 months to get his first. And now he's a pro nine at the age of 27. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I just wanted to sh elaborate a little bit. I'll be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it also came to my mind. I don't know if you guys read the book Think and Grow Rich. Um, oh, yes. Doing for, second, uh, doing for second time. He talks about this, this guy that came to Colorado and found a, 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 a place where there was a, a gold. So he went to his family. They came, they dig, they found a little bit more, but the, the how they call the vein, whatever, it stopped. They dig, they dig, and, and nothing. So they just quit. They sold the, the machinery to a, to a, it's not a homeless man, but it's those that they buy the, the discarded things. I don't remember the name. But this guy went and hired uh, somebody that knew about mines, and they were three feet away from the gold. So because they quit, they missed that. But that was a lesson for this guy. And he became one of the, a, 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 he is actually one, one of the highest uh, person that sells insurance because he will not quit anymore because he learned the lesson because before he quit and he lost millions of, of dollars in, in the mind. And when I was listening to this, it reminded me of that because it just the work is a start. Even though you don't see the results yet, the work is a start. And, and I think not just in the, in the talking about work related, talking about getting money or getting representatives or it, it's just in our own life. The more that we work in ourselves and sometimes we don't see changes, soon you're going to be changed little by little and, and it's going to show up. So this is my taking the leadership in the first part. I hope it was of help for us, for you guys. That was perfect. Apparently I was not totally paying attention. What's the blanks on the bottom? Stop doing important things. Some days. Some days. And start doing important things every day. Every day. There. Even though I'm about to not share it no more, but I still wanted to type it in. Yeah. That that, was what happened with the top ones? I had to erase them to move the page up. Because oh. when I moved the page, the words stay the same. Where oh. they stay where they're at. Okay. And so in order to just see, it's like if I move the page, the words don't mm -hmm. go there anymore. <laughs> okay. So let me stop sharing, turn the video back on. There we go. That was beautiful. Looks like you got a lot of um, compliments there. Thank you, everybody. Yes. Thank you, everybody. Good job. Yeah. Cool. Very good. Anybody got any questions about what she comments, shared? Comments, questions. Anybody got a comment or a question? Okay. That was excellent, Gloria. Just wanted to say. Yes, Julia. Julia yes. Good job, Julia. Thank you. Sorry. All right. Does anybody else want to comment? Guys, is anybody feeling the same emotion I'm feeling like just after watching that video? Um, I, I'm waiting for you guys to get excited because it, it, it just now Julia just threw gas on the fire, right? Like guys, Many of you have been, it, I'm going to tell you one other takeaway from Jenny Crane. And I know a lot of you are my, are, are, are men and women of God. 
And I'm just going to share what Jenny Crane said with you, said to me. And I hope this resonates with you guys. She said, if you know that God has blessed you with this opportunity, you have a moral responsibility to do things the right way, not your own way. Do the duplicated system, everything you're supposed to do, attend events, follow up, everything you're supposed to do. What Sean, what on top of what Beth said, I said, you know, Sean and Michelle did it. They recorded people on their team and how grateful they were that they continued to follow up. And Jenny said, look, the reason, and Jenny got her $25,000 check from being a pro seven for a year. And she said, what made a difference was, is she knew that God had entrusted her with this opportunity. And she said, she wasn't going to let him down. And she wasn't going to let other people down because God entrusted her to share with other people and encourage other people. Many of you guys have been entrusted in holding on to this thing for a long time, for a long time, us included, you know, um, I want a goal. I have a goal of by the summertime to have 40 or 50 new people on this call on Sundays. That's my goal. I'm going after it. So anybody have like a comment or an emotion or a feeling or maybe a commitment guys, if, if us as people have been in this business for eight years, I have 14 appointments this week. How many other people are committed to build? How, and, oh, and let me ask you this. How many of you built relationships from last week for 10 new people? How many people were intentional about that? And I did it for nine. Good job. Good job. Say, I know you got like three today. Good job, Stacy. <laughs> Julia, you got a bunch. And, and let me explain something to you. Yes, NAD is, I think it's the icing on the cake. The ultimate stat gives people 200 PV, which allows them to be fully commissionable. Um, I, I know there's people out there, and, and, and even Wendy commented, there's people in her organization that don't tell people about Nerve One. They tell them they don't need it. Let me explain something to you. The science proves it. Doesn't matter what you say. Doesn't matter what you think. The science proves it. The three together are a knockout punch to your aging, to your aging, to your health. Okay? So two people on this call, actually three, four, did you get, you got 10, right? Did you get 10? Okay. Um, many of you guys sit, raised your hand last week and said you're going to build a relationship with 10 people. Do it this week. Go out and have presentations where you're sharing the video, building relationships. Guys, the, the, the uh, social media panel was phenomenal. The, um, the science panel, they all were crying and weeping. Okay. Um, um, Dr. Uh, Neil Goodman, 35 years as a pediatrician, said that he was thankful that God gave him the opportunity to, to, to share this information with people. He said every time some mother brought a child in and the child was sick, but the mother was poor and couldn't do the things she needed to do, he knew he had to share this information with them. And he said some of them have become pro twos and pro threes in his organization and been able to use the money to take care of their children. Guys, I said this to Lisa. <laughs> Tara said, go find some stay-at-home moms like me, and she pointed to herself, who were about to have new rank advancements. We're going to have, I don't know if you guys saw, but last month there was tons and tons of rank advancements. This month, all of you guys should be ranking advancement. If you're not back to your paid rank, you should be getting back to your paid rank this month. Some of you should be going after a goal of having a rank advancement. That was one of the things um, Sharice Matthews did a phenomenal job of teaching um, about loving people where they are and about how relationships, she, she was funny. They gave her like 45 minutes and she talked about standing in line um, at an amusement park. And it was, it was unbelievable. 
Like, you know, the, the, she built four relationships with people and she acted it out for 45 minutes. It was unbelievable. So, all right, so we got four minutes left. Does anybody, before we go, have something they wanna say or comment? And does anybody wanna step up to the mic besides the same people that have been doing it and teach next week? Like, uh, Wendy or uh, <laughs> Therese or, um, oh, did I say that out loud? I'm sorry. Uh, Lauren or Jonas. <laughs> Who wants to step up and teach next week? Leadership, guys. Come on. You heard her talk. Julia talked yes. about it. Come on. Teresa said she'd do it. Who's going to do it? Teresa. Oh, Teresa said she'll do All it. Right. That's what I'm talking about. And, guys, I'm going to say this because she just stepped up to do this. I I've told her all along, and she can com comment on this if she wants or not, but I've told her all along that she could be an elite distributor in this company. And I've told her that for years and years and years. And I enrolled the person that enrolled her, and that person is just a $200 customer now. Okay? I told her that she can, and that person was a pro for you guys. Okay. I, I, we, one of the things we talked about in the leadership role is how people get distracted, right? How people get distracted and they forget what the purpose and the, and the, and the blessing that they were given. So anybody else want to make a comment? We have about two minutes left. Anybody want to make a comment or a commitment or something that moved you or you're excited about? other than just texting it, make a comment, speak up. It's better to hear your voices. Anybody want to share something? Great job, Mike, Lisa. Thank you. The energy is coming through. Appreciate that, George. George was awesome, Mike. And I'm glad that you put me on to him. Thank you. Oh yeah, George Bryant. Yeah. Really good stuff, isn't it, Stacy? Hey, are you going to be on that call tomorrow night, Stacy? I haven't got my email yet. You do the, uh, the. I did everything. I did all the homework and all that fun stuff. So okay. it's really good, isn't it, Stacy? It's an amazing, it's an amazing, amazing, amazing thing to do. I told you guys all about this. I gave you guys the video and and everything in the face in our Facebook group on George Bryant's stuff about building relationships, finding out your what, your who, your why, and all that, guys. It's it's. It's your time. And Wendy just commented, it's your time. It's your time. Guys, if you take that first, that next step forward, like there's leaders that aren't on this call. They're not going to be, they're not going to be the same as, as experiencing that video and watching Julia and listening to all these people step up. So I pray that you guys will go out and make a commitment. I'll see you guys next Sunday. And guys, let's go do some stuff. Let's take action. Four people on this call out of 30, 27 from last week, or five, went out and made relationships with 10 people. Guys, you, you, you got to make that. It's got to be every week you're making new appointments with people. Thank God that Sean and Michelle got up on stage and talked about constantly building relationships and constantly following up. I came home a diff. Not only just did I come home excited, like I just like I broke my watch today, and normally I would have been super super mad, but I I couldn't be mad. I was like, I'm not going to focus on my watch. I want to go share this with some people, and I I I shared with the guy beside me on the airplane that was super super excited. I'm talking to him on Friday, guys. People are all around you, dying of sickness dying of disease, dying of financial ruin, right? Because they never dug the well before they were thirsty. You guys know the issues that we went for. Lisa and I are on a comeback. We've always said that a, set, a setback is just a setup for your comeback. And so I'm speaking that to every person on this call tonight. Your setback is just a setup for your comeback. Take the step. To get out of your comfort zone and make it happen. Guys, I love you. I believe in you. Guys, I want to do this with you. But you got to take that next step. Guys, like Fred said, and, you know, Fred and I don't have the best of, of, of a relationship over the years, but I have a ton of respect for him, right? 
And you know what he said? So many people are going to miss this second wave. And for them, there will never be a third. There will never be a third. And I know that may, hopefully that gives you guys some excitement to do something because you've been entrusted with this. You've been entrusted with this. You can't do it your way. There's a system to follow. Just like my wife said, there's a system to follow all the time. Love you guys. Have a good week. Thanks for being on. Sure.